community. So thank you also to the neighborhood councils who are uh, sponsoring this event. As a former neighborhood council member myself, I am so grateful for all the work that the neighborhood councils do in our communities. And I think neighborhood councils are strongest when we come together and create great events like this one. Uh, so I want to tell you a little bit about myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Dr. Lorraine Lundquist and I have committed my life to solving problems and to helping others. My background is from a working class family. My father was a career military officer. He's a decorated Vietnam veteran with uh, two, purple, two purple hearts and a bronze star. And my mom was a middle school math teacher. And they really taught me the value of education and service. And they taught me that I could do things I never dreamed that I would be able to do, such as I got to go on to be, have a PhD in physics from UC Berkeley. <coughs> I uh, designed and built a solar-powered car that I raced across the country. I went on to help launch a science research satellite that was a joint mission between NASA and the Japan Space Agency. I served for a time in Washington, D.C. as a science and technology policy fellow at the National Academy of Sciences. So I've had a, a great time doing lots of cool things in terms of science research. But my life really took a big shift after I became a mom. And when I had young kids, I really decided that I wanted to shift my life from studying the stars to working on solving problems here on Earth and making the world a better place for my children. And that is, in fact, what is driving me to run for office now. But it's been a long time coming. This shift happened um, about 11 years ago. My oldest son is 11 years old. And uh, it, it drove me, first of all, to dive into the research on climate change and find out more about what is happening to our children's future. And that is what has taken me to my current job, which is teaching sustainability at Cal State University Northridge. I love teaching college students about their future and that not only is this an incredible uh, time to be living, but that we can turn this emergency into an opportunity for everyone, an opportunity to create a new kind of economy that's based on clean energy and one that is more equitable for everyone. And it's so much fun to watch the students take that and bring it into their communities in so, so many different ways. So for example, uh, we've written grants together and worked on sustainability education in elementary schools in the San Fernando Valley. One of the things we did was teach fifth graders how to help their families save money on their Department of Water and Power bills. And we have saved um, uh, nearly a quarter million dollars worth of money on residents DWP bills here in the San Fernando Valley as a result of those programs. Uh, my students have also mentored 50 different businesses, over 50 businesses in the San Fernando Valley to help them learn how to implement sustainability techniques and save money on their water and power bills as well. I've also gotten involved in my neighborhood council and then I've been the second vice president on the Northridge East Neighborhood Council and the co-chair of the Homelessness Committee there, as well as a founding member of the West Valley Neighborhood Alliance on Homelessness. And I wanna say, you know, this really isn't something that I ever envisioned myself doing. I never imagined that I would go on to run for office. Um, but I have been inspired and by my community, by my neighbors. Um, all of you have given me the courage to step into this fight and finally um, have the opportunity to elect an average citizen who's one of us from the community into City Hall to fight for what we care about. And what we care about is reducing corruption in government, addressing crisis to grow our economy and clean up our air. I am not satisfied with the status quo and the way things have been. It is time for change. I want my children to grow up in a world that is great for their future. Thank you.